Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our new Chickshaw 2.0 that we uh, we just made, and uh, this is from Justin Rhodes. And uh, we're going to put you know a link to his stuff, maybe down and up and all over those places. And um, so we really want to say thank you to Justin Rhodes and his channel and everything he contributes to the community. Um, it's very gracious, and uh, we got these plans from his um, his uh, Google Drive or something. We had a link where uh, you could you could could get that. So I'm not sure exactly where I got it from. Mrs. Cadence got that for us, but anyway, so uh, went on there and uh, ordered up all the material that he had listed, most all of the material, because I had some of it here already, and uh, I made a few different uh, modifications upgrades if you will um, maybe downgrades to some I don't know but uh, but either way we, we made it the way we wanted to so this is our version so I'm going to give you a quick little tour of how we built it and what we did different and what we did the same and um, and everything so let's get in here and I'll show you here's a nice close-up view of uh, I'm going to give you a quick little walk around and uh, and show you so we use the uh, the plastic uh, tough techs and uh, we did end up buying these spoked cartwheels and they're really nice uh, flat free and everything uh, got those online and you can see we made a modification back here to the um, the nesting boxes that he had and this is actually a, a best nest box and uh, we can put a link to this uh, but you can see the eggs uh, oh, there's some 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 plans from Justin there, and uh, we just printed those off. It's really nice, uh, but you can see inside of there they have uh, the little plastic grass for um, for that. And I'll show you the other side of it. That's where the egg collection is. So here we we've got the the roof. The roof is really nice, and uh, it's all around here. So here's the handle for the the chick shawl and uh, Justin Justin had a, a, a pole a metal pole in there well I had this this scrap piece of wood and I just kind of whittled the ends down and drilled holes to it for these these pins so it is removable um, but it was you now I didn't have to buy it uh, let's see I did a little something different here with the door um, he had some other some other wood or something but I had this this plywood and it made up the difference that I needed for this door and these barrel latches here these worked fine and I uh, put the little the little ramp treads on there for the birds and the ducks or whoever to get in and out of so there's the inside view of the best nest box and uh, let's see if I can show you so there's the little logo uh, and they're really nice. We have another one we have on another chicken house, and uh, that, that turned out really nice. So the floor, I put these perches in here. I had to modify that back one to fit the, the nest box in. You can just see, I just made a little frame out of the um, out of the leftover wood from Justin's design, which was a good design. Uh, we just we just like these, these, and the... Uh, so I also added, um, he had some kind of... Um, uh, aluminum latch on here which is, is fine like a little carabiner I just had these extra pins left over and um, so I kind of kind of just used what I had and here we'll pop the top over here and um, there we go so we can pick up the pick up the lid and uh, you can see I made a little um, I made a little a little stand here for the roof and uh, that was that was a really nice addition to kind of just hold the lid up and you know it's necessity is the mother of all inventions but anyway so uh, but everything else is just the way Justin had on his his building design 
uh, which was again really nice and we want to thank him again for for putting all that hard work into it but um, yeah that's about it if you've got any questions about what we did different I'd love to answer them um, we had uh, you can <laughs> you might be able to see there some inch by inch and some half by half hardware cloth over there I just used the scrap of what we had left over for the uh, for the sides and the floor. Um, I didn't buy the exact roll that he had mentioned. Mine was two feet by 15 feet or something, and I ended up just using one roll of that. And I had I bought two just in case, but um, and then the hardware cloth over there. I've got plenty extra of that, but I used hardware cloth in the front here, and so I'm, I've been really pleased. Of uh, I've been. Um, you know excited about getting this going and uh, we're gonna go put some birds in here now and uh, see how they like it we got some little baby chicks that we've had for about a month now and they're ready to come outside all right well these little guys have outgrown their temporary caves that we had it set up in the basement when they were babies and uh, you can see they're all pretty big now <laughs> So uh, let's go ahead and get these guys in here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't try to run away on me. But let's see, let's see what happens. Zombie. Looks like they all fit pretty easy, uh, no problems there. And I've got their food and water. I'll transfer that over once I get done rolling this around. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and close this up so they don't try to run away. And uh, love these little latches here. They work perfect. All right. Well, I'm gonna roll this over there, and then I'll um, I'll see you in just a minute. Alright guys, well that wasn't too bad. I've got them kind of set up here for now with um, with Fox Molder. Uh, they're kind of outside of his of his uh, Premier One fencing, but um, I think they'll be okay. It's a pretty you know it's a very robust uh, house, and we're not going to be letting them out and stuff because they um, you know they're just little babies. But anyways. Um, all right, well uh, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed you know kind of seeing what we did with it I didn't show the whole build because there's already some videos on how to build it and, and I just did the exact same thing as they did so um, all right well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time